It was a love affair that wasn't supposed to start until after the inmate's release, but now a prison employee could be headed behind bars herself. Police in Airway Heights want a counselor their charge with felony misconduct after she admitted to having sex with an inmate. KXY4 Chef Humphrey has the latest details on the investigation. Well, today we learned this was not a spontaneous event, but rather first involved a secret stash of love letters and smuggled in gifts. Prison officials say it is the very type of special treatment that undermines security at their facility. Back on April 4th, a corrections officer noticed the counselor and inmate both with their pants unzipped in a small prison classroom. The female counselor told investigators, I was witnessed by another officer being inappropriate. My shirt was up and my bra was showing. However, when confronted by detectives, both eventually admitted they were having sex and correction officials say the blame lies with a staff member. Being raped in prison is never to be part of an offender sentence. Um, they are never to be victimized we are their custodians and we're to provide for their safety and security while they're incarcerated according to this report obtained by KXOI through a public records request the counselor concealed her relationship with a convicted rapist by writing him letters under an assumed name and using a bogus return address the report states the counselor had planned to have an affair with the inmate after he was released in October. Now prison officials are treating the case like a sexual assault and view the inmate as a victim. People who are victims of sexual violence in prison carry that beyond the walls of the prison when they leave. So they may act out in the community, it may cause problems with their family, it may cause problems with them being able to maintain a job. While you might think that this sex act could be consensual, prison officials don't look at it that way. Without protection from sexual assaults, prisoners often arm themselves and unpunished rapes lead to more violence behind bars. That leads to more bad blood and of course 97% of these people will be released back into our community. Reporting at the Early Heights Correction Center, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.